Hi everyone and welcome back to Adobe Live. Hey Bram, good Hello, to see Michael. you. It's a, it's a pleasure, always, yeah, of course. Again, I mean, you were also last year with us at Off, mm -hmm. I remember. Yes. Um, and, but uh, the big news is that this year you will be a speaker at Off. Exactly, yeah. it's like another level, yeah. another level of uh, excitement, yes. So that's awesome. Uh, we are live from Off in Barcelona, which is the biggest creative conference in Europe with uh, thousands of designers, graphic designers, motion designers, illustrators, uh, and uh, tons of presentations. And uh, yeah, Phoenix Studio, Ram's work works. Yeah, so that's exactly <laughs> what this will be <laughs> Thank about. Thank you. <laughs> uh, because first we will talk about his work and uh, his process. Sure. Also, he has some files that he wrote. I mean, it's yes. awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we will review two portfolios. And one of the portfolio reviewee will be with us. Uh, is one of the off attendee. And the other one will hopefully be in the chat. Hey, Count awesome. Zero, thanks for joining and uh, moderating the chat. Uh, the chat, it's awesome. And uh, let's, let's start, so Bram, how would you introduce yourself? How do I introduce myself? Well, right now I'm like a multidisciplinary creative. What I always say is like I'm on a mission to do more. Um, okay. I'm a creative, I'm a digital artist doing a lot of colorful portraits, energetic portraits. But besides that, I do like a, I have a project with my girlfriend, Bram and Ella, like doing actual exhibitions and making oh. paintings like oh. off the computer, like stay okay. away from the computer. And then uh, traditional what, art. Yeah, uh, trying yeah. to. And, and the coolest that's thing good. is to share it with your girlfriend. So that's a <laughs> lovely project. Um, and what most people don't know is what I do like uh, full time. I work at the bank as an art director, okay. or uh, at least. That, uh, I was an art director, I'm moving that's into new directions. But so people forget sometimes like, oh, sh this dude is doing other stuff as well. And it's uh, doing mobile design, something completely different. So oh, mobile design, like a UX design? Uh, exactly, uh, yeah. You, you we, prototype we, mobile experiences? Exactly, yeah. I'm working with awesome. UXers, like a very cool team. And so and yeah, for the bank, yeah, they, they the have bank. a huge uh, and that's like expectations. <laughs> I would it's say their users working for a bank or definitely creating a mobile app for uh, the bank is like uh, the users like. With most apps, you know exactly how these are our users. Yeah. They're 25 years old, mostly boys, whatever. Yeah. With the bank, it's like, yeah, youngsters until my grandma is using <laughs> it. So it's super interesting to, to do something like that as well. So, yeah. Awesome. So it's all about history. And don't hesitate uh, in the chat to yes. ask questions to Bram. It's Any a, questions. A unique opportunity. Cool. I see people yeah. joining from Germany, from Argentina. Spain. I saw someone from Morocco, from Argentina, uh, all around the world. So that's awesome. That's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, Sweden. Sweden. Nice. That's good. Where is the conference? We are live from Barcelona. Exactly. It's actually uh, very warm today, uh, beautiful it's weather. Beautiful. It's getting very, very warm here. Like, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you feel a breeze. <laughs> so yeah, you feel I will feel it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm that's blocking great. it. Yeah. OK, so let's switch to your screen. And uh, let's discover your work and um, talk about it. Discover. I, I don't have internet, so I, but I brought two little things with me. Uh, I can connect you to internet. If you yeah, should. please. So we can open up. Yeah. I just do this. <laughs> and usually, when you're alive, you don't type the password well. <laughs> yeah, that's usually what happens. OK. Um, Let me try one nice. more time. Hi, guys. Yeah, thanks for joining. Everyone is joining. It's awesome. Oh, you know what we can do? We can also do this. Because that's a wired yeah, connection. Yeah, I was thinking, like, just open your own laptop. Or, or we can open my laptop. Or just your yeah. screen for a second. You don't mind? Oh, well, I'm, I've, inter I've got internet. Oh, we got it. OK, that's good. Behance, boom. OK, so you are on Behance. So Behance, if you don't know what this is, uh, for people watching, it's yes. a social network for creative professionals. Awesome. Uh, now so it's part of uh, Adobe, and you share your portfolio. Yep. So we'll go through some uh, interesting projects. Okay. Like uh, start from the beginning. I'm scrolling down. Like maybe one of the first projects. Like just open black and white. Um, I think what is this? we are the year 2011. 2011. So we're like six, six years, years ago. ago. And it was actually this one is what you see now. It's like my very first illustration, completely black and white. Um, I took a break for like almost a year, creating nothing. Pre okay. Previous to that, I was doing photo manipulations like copying other artists most of the time, but I got some uh, traction. I was like, OK, I need a break. I want to find my own stuff. Like, what do I want to do? And I started to create illustration, a little type stuff. But these things as well, like tigers. But all I was doing was black and white illustrations. Just as you can see here, again, all black and white stuff for Le Levi Maestro. Super cool dude. And from this point, I was like, OK, all cool, black and white. I'm not really the black and white kind of guy, as you can see today. 
<laughs> so from that moment, I was like, ah, I need, I need something. Like I need to figure out how to add colors. And what happened was this project, legendary, uh, my Olympians. People from Belgium in the chat. They're very ah, proud okay. of you. Hi, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, and at this moment, I was like, okay, I'm an athlete myself. I'm really into sports. It's super okay. important for me. And I was like, okay, so it's very easy. If you would ask me, like, what do I want to create every day? It's like work with athletes and make mm -hmm. their illustrations. So this is where it all started. And as you can see, like, ah, oh, it's too little shit. It's like an old project, so it's a <laughs> small resolution images. But as you can see, it's all based on black and white illustration. And then I found out in Photoshop how to add like colorful layers. Um, I added some brushes, color effects, and then I created this really cool, at least I think. And people uh, are asking for the link in the chat, so I will put it now for oh, you. Oh, sure. There we I go. I think, yeah, it might be hands. Yeah. Bram van Harden, you find everything probably. So from this moment on, I was like, oh, interesting. So now I wanted to get better at this. And then I start another project. Where is it? On the wall. And with this project, just exactly the same as I did on the track and field, mm -hmm. I would train every day. And what I did with this project is like, OK, for 30 days, I'm going to train myself to get better. I think it's <laughs> loading. Yeah, it's loading. It's the image is laying, so no problem. Uh, I can do the story. And what I did was. Every evening I went to the track and field, I trained for one hour and 30 minutes. Yeah. And every training was like, first you do a warm up, then you do the actually the workout, and then you, you stretch and you're finished. And I was like, okay, I will apply this exactly to my work. So after my training on track and field, I went like, okay, let's warm up my illustration. And that was most of the time like, let's look for a good image and a story. So I had like 15 minutes to find a story and a photograph from an athlete most of the time, or someone who inspired me. In the beginning, it was a lot of uh, athletes. Okay. And then I had one hour to do the workout. I was doing the illustration, of course. And after the illustration, when it was done, I had to, to stretch. And the stretching was like placing it and sharing it on the social media, sharing it with the people. So, and that was my workout every day. So it's like interesting <laughs> to see That's how nice. I did it. Uh, because and using Illustrator and Photoshop in this case? Yeah, this is all in Illustrator. Oh, like okay. for 95% is in Illustrator. Oh, okay. And then I, I drag and drop like the complete illustration to Photoshop. And then I have all my colorful layers. And as you can see, like most of the projects, you know, they all have the same effect. Yeah. So for me, it was all about you know learning to, to get better at my illustrations and just add the, the colors. And then I loved it. And I was like, fuck it, I'm going to do this every day. <laughs> and I was adding it and I was adding it. I was creating a lot of illustrations back then. I still do, by the way. You yes, Stefan Sackmeister. Like I do, not only athletes, like no, people Stephen that inspire Sackmeister me. Back then, I Jessica wrote this Walsh. book, and I, like the first time I heard about Jessica Walsh, I was like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stupid that I never heard about her." So because she's super big right now, it's insane. Yeah. Uh, Jay Z, just doing fun stuff. And then what happens is, you did. I had, I did this project, and you can see it's like 45,000 views. People picked it up, and the clients just come to you and like, we okay. want this. We, we want, want exactly style. this and like... For a company. Um, yeah, because they're like, this works, let's play it safe, let's do this. And I'm just keeping to it like a cool example. I think the containers one. That's great. With this project, um, I did exactly the same thing and the client was like, please do it exactly oh, this nice. way. And I was like, okay, cool, I will deliver it. The client was happy and everything. But I also proposed them these illustrations, and I oh, added a lot a more colors. Style. Yeah, and look at that. It was abstract stuff, super energetic, but maybe too much abstract. And the client was like, no, 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 it's too risky. Uh, we're not going <laughs> to do that. I was like, OK, well, I, I'm going to publish it anyway. So I published this one. It got featured again. Um, it reached nice. some, some, some new people. And so featured, yeah, it's, uh, so yeah, it's so featured it's the as well. Behance team, like noticing yeah. your work, and then you are featured on the again on yeah. the, in the collections, like on the main page. Yep. So it gives a lot of visibility. If one day you are featured on Behance, you will yep. notice that. Yeah, and people in the chat so really love your work. Look at that. Nice Ooh. work. It's really cool. Beautiful. Nice. Thank you, guys. Well, I will, I will go to the, the <laughs> my favorite one, and here you go, oh, like yeah. Leonardo, Leonardo. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and I think I did another variation as well with some other <laughs> colors. Color. Yeah, because that that's me again. I, I create something, and like one year later, I'm like, let's pick let's pick this one up again. Like add new colors, have fun with it, to create content as well for my Instagram. You know, you have to <laughs> you have to keep on creating. And uh, someone, someone was that. saying in the chat, oh, you're using a lot of gradients. I wonder. Uh, if you can show how to create the Instagram logo <laughs> mm. with multiple colors. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I created it, but I signed an yeah. NDA. I can't talk about it. So no, of course <laughs> not. Uh, but it could, it, yeah, it fits perfectly in my portfolio. 
Um, what else? So I've been doing a lot of illustrations. Uh, maybe let's show. Oh, let's not edit. It's like a little bit. This project is uh, what Flips. I mentioned. It's like uh, with uh, with Ella, with my girlfriend, okay. and it start loading, of course. Mm -hmm. But what it did is, or what oh, I did okay. is, I came home with with my uh, with my work printed on canvas, okay. and I was like, "Hi, Ella. It's a beautiful afternoon. We just uh, moved into our new studio. So we had like a, a nice space to be creative." And uh, I brought her um, all these acrylics and, uh, and some painting stuff, and she has no experience at all. And I was like, "Here's a canvas. Do something." And uh, and what she did was like, she panicked first, of course. She's panicked, so I called her down, like, "Oh no, no problem, girl. No problem, baby. We will do this together." And she started to add like these squares over my paintings, uh, above the illustrations. Yeah. Oh, we made art and stuff. Woo. And what we started to do, we we took our illustrations and. I found like, yeah, this is a lot cooler than just my illustrations. <laughs> and I was like, definitely, you know, the paint on the canvas, you get this other dimension. And then yeah. I came up with a story. And before we, we knew, I think I've uh, got some pictures. Khalid in the chat, uh, Khalid, he wants this on, on his wall. You have to ship. Uh, oh, yeah. If you go to yeah. bramandella.com, you can find all the work, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> a nice little plug. Thank you. <laughs> um, so you can see. And I'm not sure if there's like images, but we did the first exhibition. OK. And doing something like this with your girlfriend, it's like super cool, yeah, of course. Like, yeah, project. we're a couple and we're having fun and all that stuff, so that's cool. And yeah, I, I, I think it's not loading, no problem. You can check it on the website, of course. So that's a really cool uh, project. Uh, yeah. Maybe if there are some questions, like, we, we, I would love to answer some questions uh, from people. Like, oh, yeah, so someone, uh, I can, I can talk asking, about uh, my work all the time. It's like, mm. uh, how long did it take to? Uh, how long to take to create a, like, an, illustration. an illustration? Like most of the times, like lately, I've been m sometimes like I've, I'm getting a lot of uh, illustrations from bearded men, and it's like super hard to <laughs> illustrate the beards, like very detailed work. So most of the times, like two hours for an illustration, okay. and then 10, 15 minutes to color it. So yeah, there you go, two hours. But you know, <laughs> I've been training this. I've been doing this for five years every day. So and also like the athlete in me is like I'm I'm. Making sure I have my records on, you know, I, I yeah. time. You track everything. I track everything. I'm like, let's do it in an hour. So. <laughs> Fairly uh, someone says, yeah, life, life trace wouldn't work. No. Um, no. No. I don't trace stuff. No. Yeah. You use the pen tool? Yes. Nice. My brother is there. Hey, Tim. <laughs> ah, cool. <laughs> my brother. Awesome. And okay. yeah, we have some people from Belgium. That's awesome. Uh, Belgium. Why and how did you start designing? Why and how? Well, I was 13 years old, and I think my big brother watching, he knows. Uh, we were, I was 13, he was 15, I, I guess. Yeah. And, you know, we, 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 we found Photoshop, I think, from, we were gaming as well, and oh, someone yeah. introduced us, like, oh, let's make a signature for on a forum. Um, and that's how it all started. And then my, my older brother went to, in Cinema Fier Day, like this okay. abstract stuff. And I went to the illustration part. I was like, oh, this is an interesting illustrator. Uh, for me, it was like magic to see how I can scale my work. Because in the beginning, I was working in Photoshop and all those colors and ooh, cool stuff. But I couldn't print it because I was working on a very old computer. And I couldn't work on 300 DPI stuff. So when I printed it out, it was like pixelated. I was like, huh, this, this, this looks crappy. And then on Illustrator, you can scale it as big as you want. I was like, whoa, magic, <laughs> the 13-year-old I am. <laughs> so that's how I started. And then uh, I think you know, getting on, on communities like DeviantArt back in the day yeah. and then Behance, just surround yourself with other youngsters doing that stuff. And you create every day, and it's, like, it's fun. And, and before you know, like 10 years later, poof, you're at off. <laughs> yeah. And uh, DB3 is asking you, can you explain more about the inspiration process before uh, the concept? Like, uh, oh, yeah, the inspiration process. Uh, for me, there is like almost no process. I mean, I apply the three-second rule. And it's um, whenever I see something, I hear a music, I, I hear a, a new track or something, and like playing the Discover Weekly on, on, on Spotify. On Spotify yeah. And I hear something, it's like, oh, this is cool. Who is this artist? For me, it takes three seconds. That I do it or not. It's like for me, yeah. I ask a question, oh, am I going to do it? Yes or no? And most of the time it's like yes, and then I just drop everything, create it, like two hours, just do the illustration, add colors. And then most of the time it's the most inspiration of, or where the difference is and what most people don't see is how I experiment with colors. Mm -hmm. And once every three months I come up with a new combination where I'm like, oh, this is awesome. But it takes like a long period of time to find new combinations. 
But that's really like the process is nothing really special. I just go all in and I do, I, I do a lot. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, Hadi is asking you, how do you choose your color palettes, color themes? How? I find it really interesting. Uh, I tr I'm going to try and talk about it on my talk Saturday as well. Oh, okay, cool. Um, but for me, colors come very easily. I've okay. seen it also working with other colleagues, and I find it really interesting that you know everyone is different. Everyone has a different taste, which is really interesting. And it's maybe I'm lucky that people find my stuff like, oh, you have a nice <laughs> taste of colors, but you know it's it's uh, it's very subjective. So yeah. as well, mm. but how do I come up? Yeah, it's most of the times I pick like. Um, three, most of the times, like three colors that work really well together, mm -hmm. and then I explore like a color to break those three nice combinations that really stand out, cool. and then I play with it. Yeah. Oh, someone apparently attended your talk in uh, Kortrijk. Was it at uh, what's the name of the festival? Blump, Blump. No, I, I, two weeks ago I, I, I talked uh, at Divine, like a high school. Ah, uh, the high organizer school? of Bump invited me over to okay. speak for the students. So yeah, my first talk there. Yep. <laughs> What's his name again? Kuhn? No. I'm not sure what his name. No? Oh. I should know. <laughs> Did I design all my tattoos? Nope. <laughs> He's another Belgian designer, so. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Mark the Clover again. Yeah, there's some Dutch stuff. That's nice. Okay. And what is uh, Bram Talks? Well, the Bram Talks, um, it's actually my YouTube thing. Um, like oh, last yeah. year, I attended it off, and I was yeah. like, mm. I, back then, I was also invited to my first talk, and I was like, I think I like to do this, okay. but to get better at it or f get a taste at it. I, I was like, maybe I should just should start on YouTube doing like little talks, like five minute talks. And then I want, oh, I'm going to interview people. And then you notice like, fuck, I don't have that much time in a day. It yeah. takes a lot of time. The editing alone on YouTube is like, fuck. Uh, but that's Bram Talks. I'm, I try to make a video every once in a while. Like I have some content ready. Um, but it's most for me, like just to see one, I love to do it. Mm -hmm. I love to talk. I love to do that. But for me, you know, to get better and just test it if if, if talking or doing yeah. this thing is so something what, for what me. So what you talk about like during the show? Well, I talk. You know, my the last graphic. video is for, uh, for instance, is about the creative habits. Okay. Because I was, uh, you know, the Chase Jarvis, his podcast on mm -hmm. uh, the creative life. Or I'm not sure if that's the name, but he constantly talk about creative habits, and I was like, ooh, this is interesting. And the athletes, me again, it's like I, I yeah. love habits. And he talked about an, an, applica an application on my phone, the habit list. And he's like really into like, okay, what can you do or what habits uh, can truly improve your lifestyle? And then I was like, oh, interesting. And for me, it was like, okay, I need to work on, I need to drink water to stay hy hydrated in the morning. For me, I always forget. Sometimes I wake up, I work, and then it's like <laughs> 12 o'clock. It's like, you haven't drink. I'm like, oh, shit, I failed. Oops. Definitely as an athlete, you know, if, you, if you're working out, water is super important. So stuff like that. And then I built on habits. And another habit is, for instance, I try to create uh, anything every day for 30 minutes. I'm like, I have to create something. And this application is like, sends you a notification like, hey, Bram, <laughs> don't forget you have 30 minutes to create something. So stuff like that. And then also, um, I'm also big on, on setting goals. And, you know, you need habits for that, you know, just to... Take I, I take for instance every day I take like ten minutes just to stop everything and think okay. and memorize and like visualize routine, all my yeah. goals and see what I'm doing and, like meditation. and just to check in like if I'm still doing the things that brings me to my goals so yeah stuff like that awesome um, okay so in ten minutes we will review a uh, first portfolio um, cool. maybe you you wanted to show a file that that was open in Illustrator mm. yeah because I didn't know like what's the plan what are we going to yeah. do. So awesome. lately I've been doing a lot nice. of Kleursal and that's because I know a lot of people think I have like a talent for <laughs> colors. I was <laughs> like, okay, let's see if I can truly bring and you know do something with colors. And so lately I've been creating a lot of these things. You know, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see pop up you will see these pop up every once in a while. <laughs> um, I think like I post like every week, like two or three palettes as you can see. And I thought like, you know, if you have little time why not create some? And uh, I created this one, I think this weekend before I went to off with the off oh, yeah. and I was like, why not create one while we talk? <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. So maybe if you have 10 minutes, why not? Um, if you have questions, just keep on. I will, I will start to create something like a... Hmm? There's a Miguel Rojo asking, what is your next big project? So My next big project? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, actually, I don't know if we can 
drop them names, but there are some big clients okay. with very interesting projects. And then as well at the bank, in my career thing, I have a, an, a, a new project. job, I think. Okay. Uh, so, but that's not really interesting. So, yeah. Where's my palette? Ah, here we go. And uh, so they're asking about your equipment. So you're working on the MacBook Pro? Even at home? This or is it. The Magic Mouse. And the Magic Mouse. That's, that's, it. <laughs> that's it. No tablet. Yeah, no, no tablet. Work, um, I'm yeah. still waiting to, to work with the, with the brand and convince <laughs> me that it's better. So, yeah. <laughs> Designing on a standing. Oh, team likes uh, like watching all your uh, artworks. You know, all at all in one. Yeah, I never showed people that, but I have a silent I mission, so, yeah. and I want to create like a big print with all the yeah. color style on, and I think it's gonna look awesome. So, <laughs> shit, it was a secret. Now everyone knows all the Ooh. tiles. Yeah, they create a cool pattern. Thanks, brother, to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so are you getting inspiration again with the with the yeah, well, yeah, but and uh, oh yeah. Um, I saw like yeah, I'm gonna use this one once, and then most of the times, I just start. Oh, Fadi says that Illustrator is uh, his favorite program, favorite tool. Okay, who is using Illustrator every day in the chat? Because you know you have like two schools, like you have uh, the Photoshop school, the Illustrator uh, school. Who is more like an Illustrator designer? And there are other people in uh, the chat that are also working just with the mouse, so you're not the only one. Of course. <laughs> it's easy. It comes really really natural as well if you draw a lot. Of course, the pencil is <laughs> the natural thing you can do, but... Mm. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm <laughs> having fun. It's always how I start. There, I'm just experimenting. <laughs> Let's see. How does it look? Okay. Oh, we have a lot, a lot of Illustrator users. Mm. Good, good. That's awesome. And thanks for joining. So we are live on Adobe Live. I invite you also to subscribe to our Creative Cloud YouTube channel. Uh, then you will access all the replays because we will be live over, over three days uh, from off in Barcelona. We will welcome more than 20 21 guests on the stream, including Bram. So a lot of content. So yeah, just make sure you subscribe to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. You will also be notified when we go live. It's very convenient. And uh, there is a contest going on. So if you go on adobelive.com, on the right, there is a contest tab. And if you click on the tab, you will have the details about the Tech 10 contest, where we share with you 10 pictures. And if you, we invite you to mix them to create an illustration. And you can win uh, an iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. You can win credit card subscriptions, Adobe Stop subscriptions. So yeah, if I were you, I, I would just try, you know, give it a try. So that's the Tech 10 contest on adobelive.com on the right. There is a contest tab. Oh, Mr. Uh, Cobaldes likes the spontaneous designs. Spontaneous, yeah, yeah, I'm experimenting. While I'm sweating, it's like no problem. <laughs> Super authentic. It's very warm here. It's like very yeah. intense, very intense. I will design. wear a white t-shirt, nobody will see it. Ah, oh, fuck, I failed. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Those who know me, I'm, I sweat like crazy. <laughs> and it's funny because I was at, the, at my kinesist, I would say, like uh, yeah. the sport thing. And I was like, do you know why? Because I sweat really fast. And it's like, yeah, metabolism thing, whatever. So I'm like, every time I sweat, it's like, yeah, it's this sporty thing. I can't, I'm just, it's my body. <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Aaron is asking you, uh, do you uh, sometimes use a grid to work? A grid in my mind? In your mind, yeah. But, you but not really, no. You don't display, I love, yeah. as you can see, you know, I love to experiment and sometimes I select everything and I play a lot with uh, what is it, the shape builder tool. Yeah. And then oh, you come that's up a very with, nice tool. Yeah. You, can, you can come up with cool. Uh, shape cool builder tool, yeah, it lets you uh, merge or exclude. Um, some shapes. Uh, yeah. This is what you could do with the Pathfinder, but it's very visual. Like the Shape Builder tool, if you don't know this tool, you should retry really it. No, no, like this isn't working. And it smells like hamburgers. I mean, what's happening? Yeah. There's a, a flow it smells of great. hamburgers. Kind of. <laughs> I haven't eaten. Haven't you, have you eaten something already? No. Super hungry as well? Awesome. And uh, yeah. But after, we have to go on stage, actually. It should be the keynote oh, with yeah. uh, Kelly yeah, Anderson. So. 
I guess I will eat uh, later. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jonathan, watching from Mauritius. Whoa, good for you. Yeah, Nightbot is sick. I don't know what's happening with Nightbot. Bam. I will try to fix it today. Nightbot, yeah. It's my robot. He's supposed to take care of the chats, but today is uh, <laughs> not in good shape. It's too warm. <laughs> Okay. Uh, William is talking about the contrast in your work. Um, so also, it's interesting that you started uh, designing in black and white. This is yeah. usually a good practice. Yeah, because and then it it needs to be on point in black and white. Yeah, and, you know, if it's like on point. Uh, Dan Mumford, he said exactly the same thing uh, thing uh, oh, this interesting. morning. Interesting. Like he he wants to reach this point where he feels good with black and white, uh, with the contrast, and then. Um, uh, he says, okay, as you said, like, if you're on point with black and white, you, you tell your story, then you can add colors and it will work. Yeah, I'm going to take this palette, it's <laughs> cool, and then I can change <laughs> some flavor. cubism. Yeah, and I can know that, why not? I would talk about, uh, yeah, Delaunay, maybe? Delaunay paintings? Well, I've been. I know nothing about this stuff because I, f I find it super interesting. Yeah, I start to cool. look up uh, people on Instagram, and I've, I, I don't get it. But I, I get it that it's, it looks awesome, but I don't get that so many people like it. So, so things like this, like super yeah, abstract stuff. Geometry, you know, it talks to. But if you if you see this on like a big canvas, two meters yeah, or whatever, it's no, like, it. oh my god, awesome! I want this in my my yeah, like living room. paintings. Awesome. I will give you two minutes, sure. two more minutes, and then we will review a portfolio. Awesome. Uh, Is the person here already? Yeah. Because that's the concept from okay. the OFF conference. Uh, we received some OFF attendees, and they just showcased their portfolio. It's also a cool opportunity for us to discover new designers and you know, give some advices or, or just congratulate oh, no. them. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, uh. Wait, I need another blue. Still looking for. Okay, you have one more minute. One more minute. The customer is calling. The no customer call. is, in, is entering the studio. You're like, where is my piece? He needs to wait. And then I think we will welcome Vadim. Yeah. And then sometimes I drop it into Photoshop, add yeah. gradients, stuff like this. I will change this. But thanks for sharing your workflow. But this is how it, it works. It was good also to yes. see you, like uh, how you play, your experiments, you, you rotate, and yeah. you're looking for it. It's awesome. Exactly. Okay, so it's time for the portfolio review, and we have this uh, amazing jingle <laughs> video, an amazing transition. Hollywood, and we will welcome uh, Vadim. Vadim? You can come? And we are back. Middle. So we will switch Hi, to my computer. Hi, hey. hey. Thanks for joining. Um, thank you, actually. Yeah, how are you? Good? <laughs> I'm, I'm really good. I enjoy enough the second year, and it's second amazing. Time? Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, a lot of inspiration and you know, all this. Oh, that's great. You need to watch uh, Brent's presentation on Saturday. Saturday, open room. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. OK, so how would you uh, introduce yourself? Um, Where do you live? I'm living in Poland now in Warsaw. I'm originally from Ukraine, yes, but okay. I'm living like six years in, uh, in Warsaw. Uh -huh. And I'm a nuclear power engineer. And um, my passion is like design, illustration, and I, I like visual communication. I mean, so I will zoom in so the mods they can maybe uh, catch it and share the link in the chat. <laughs> uh, it's yellow. Yeah, it's like uh, I I call like yellow. Yeah, and. Uh, the whole yellow was not able. So, <laughs> so that's your yellow. OK, good. Uh, which one do we want to, to showcase? Oh, uh, I mean, I love, it, it depends. I mean, uh, I love different um, 
different works. It depends on uh, what kind of work. I mean, I like strong ideas, and I have one that is like represents like strong idea. I mean, okay. a cool. really simple one. I like just you know playing with uh, some pop and uh, some modern uh, words like the last work, mm -hmm. responsibility for speech on the internet, and it actually represents you know like this uh, minimalistic style. It's about. Uh, um, in, in Russia, for example, there was an issue when uh, people for oh. a post, they mm -hmm. go to the jail. I mean, oh. for one year and so on, oh, just wow. for a post. So you should like keep, uh, you know, like uh, what are you writing on the internet? Mm -hmm. You should like pay attention about it. And so this is like representing in a, yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> like this uh, because you should like to unlock. You should like really yeah. be able that you post it or something and you uh, have a responsibility for it and the face is describing the feelings that about it you know about this jail about the issues and, and this is about internet you know the posting in internet so like, i mean it's like um, simple really illustration i think but it represents what it was the topic about so for example yeah but um, also like i, I love abstract things mm -hmm. you know like and uh, illustrations like i i, I mean uh, i will show you for example uh, the strongest idea that I love personally. Uh, it's mm. more than just a poster, it's a protest, as mm. I called it. Mm. It's called No Signal. Okay. Uh, it, it's it's uh, about private life, about... Um, um, as you see, this is a lock, yeah. yes, from a door, and it's no and signal. Try like look, an, uh, yeah, yeah, try to look, but no signal. It's like uh, at the time, so it's Snowden was mm -hmm. like in 2013, and uh, also my parents came to live in Russia, mm -hmm. and uh, there was like a really I I I, I knew this. I, I can compare because I'm living in Europe, and I can compare these different worlds and uh, how mm -hmm. it looks like, and it's like completely totalitarianism. Like you can do whatever you want, but they will be watching you. You can say whatever you want, mm -hmm. but uh, silently. I yeah. mean. This is the main idea, and uh, a lot of people actually from uh, uh, from St. Petersburg, from Moscow, wrote to me like, mm -hmm. "Can I print it? Like, hang on a door?" Mm -hmm. And you know, like, because they were excited about the idea. But nice. you know, I mean, I like because it's like really simple. I mean, with the symbols, mm -hmm. just symbols, but it it has a uh, strong idea. So I like this kind oh, of art. Matters. But also, I mean, uh, I love cool. abstract art. I like uh, uh, surrealism. So some of my works, like just abstract. I mean, <laughs> there is no idea. I just love yeah. to, you know, like Brad. Like what shapes. I just did. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but yeah. I love it. Yeah. And some people also, you want your portfolio reviews, uh, reviewed. So yeah, it's true that we ask people to submit their portfolio in advance. But maybe we will do an improvised one. Maybe we'll just pick one. We'll, we'll see. Fun. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. So Vadim. Um, Oh yes. Also, I was intrigued by this one because it looks like a great uh, This is actually the last my work. Uh, okay. I put it. <laughs> it's an uh, album cover, <laughs> actually. Uh, it's uh, of one uh, modern poet and musician oh. also from Ukraine. Okay. And it's like Hearts in Atlantis, it, call, uh, it calls like it's it. And uh, he gave me like uh, some uh, freedom of what I could do. And uh, I'm, I wrote a man and a hat. It's like uh, to mm -hmm. the movie. If you saw the movie with Anthony Hopkins, uh, Hearts in Atlantis, it's about he has a hat and uh, finally he, you know, uh, leave it. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. uh, so, uh, and also the Hearts in Atlantis, you know, that this eyes, oh, uh, uh, yeah. Man. Shape and I heart. wanted also to try a new technique. I mean, I never, if you will I see my see. portfolio, I never tried to use, uh, you know, like illustrations, like, uh, and this is a, like illustration, you know, I was drawing from the zero and uh, it was not so usual for me. So the mm -hmm. poet that knew my works and he expected uh, a, bit, a little bit mm -hmm. another work. Mm -hmm. He asked me, whoa, it you made by you? And I, yeah, <laughs> of course. I mean, oh, <laughs> it's like different completely what what you done before. So uh, yeah, yeah, it's like just music cover. And the know. chat really likes this one. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice feedback on this one. Well, Bram, there is something you want to see? Yeah, I found Catch this your one. eye? What catch my eye is this one, of this course. This one? Yeah, oh, yeah, the same one. Um, <laughs> it's the same dude, like the same orange. Yeah, how to negotiate on the internet. Yeah, but I it's like just my interpretation because uh, actually it's not so clear. I mean, this is work is not so clear. I mean, when okay. you will see it without, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's like just my interpretation. I love the idea that it's like a steps with yeah. this mouse. And uh, in negotiations, you like negotiations and you are like step by step, you have some compromising ideas and so on, blah, blah. At the end, you make a white flag because you are like agree of mm -hmm. the last point of uh, negotiations and you like, yeah, so I mean, but. It's just my interpretation. I was like, I, I had fun to make it, and I like how, how visually it looks like, simple and so on. So I mean, uh, but it, it's not so you know clear. I mean, <laughs> if you will just look like you know, oh, what's it going on? What's about? The chat, they're like, don't fall, don't fall, no, no. <laughs> don't worry, it's a, it's an image. There's no. <laughs> he's not moving. 
Great. Uh, something else you want to see, Bram? Yeah, I would love to. You know, I see you're just starting out, and like, are you you putting yourself out there, some, or are you on Instagram or anything? Because I think images like this would work so well on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, probably on Instagram. And actually, the Instagram is the uh, only one thing where I have like some people that are following me, but uh, in course, another, yeah, it works I mean. perfect on this uh, platform. Hmm. Very nice, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You should follow our friend on Instagram too, huh? on yeah, Behance nice. on Instagram. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, and people watching also, uh, <laughs> leave some comments, leave some appreciations. Yeah. Yeah, That's actually, I will, I will be happy to like collaborate with someone or like work on some issues because I, I don't have, I mean, I'm from nuclear power engineering, yes? I'm studying yeah. in a completely another way. And I don't know how it works in the creative industry, how to get a job, I mean, the, how to get okay. a com commissioned by some magazines. I wrote to some of them, like, sending my works mm -hmm. and saying, like, I will be happy, I mean, uh, honor mm -hmm. to collaborate to make some material sessions, and I got nothing. I mean, no answer, no, no. How That's did so you start? Uh, so, yeah. I mean, exactly maybe. the same way I was, uh, but I didn't give up, so the first year, I, I, on Behance alone, I've sp I probably sent like over 10,000 messages to people. Every day I would send like, in the beginning, now is there's a limit of course to um, yeah. 10 messages or five, but back in the day there, there was no limit. So uh, that was every morning I woke up, I had 30 minutes and I just sent messages to everyone. And also today on another platform, LinkedIn, you can yeah. find everyone. Yeah. If you want to work for a, a special uh, magazine, whatever, you can find all the editors. And then what I do is, uh, is when I find them, I follow them on Twitter, I will follow <laughs> them everywhere, be sneaky, take some time, be patient, follow them, and every time they're posting whatever, I try to Engage. reply, find a uh. comment, uh, find a connection, and then go all in. It's like, can I work for you, present myself, and but never give up. I would send them every time again, again, again. Yeah, so and what uh, I'm yeah, doing now, like, just I'm not going. giving up, yeah, I'm trying, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope. They will, will reply one day, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, this one is strong too. <laughs> It's a book illustration also for this poet, and uh, it's also not so clear. I mean, I, I like when some works uh, the um, viewer can have a reflection in his mind by Owen, you know, like uh, someone telling me, like, oh, I see in this, this, and this, and okay, I, I see another thing. And I, I was asked to make it for my friend, like, poet, and uh, mm -hmm. for the, his book, and I, I enjoyed it actually. And also, I was trying actually this uh, illustration stuff, you know. Can I, if you go back to the project? Because I can I hear you tell like beautiful stories, beautiful behind the scene like information. Why don't you share it with, with everyone watching this? Yeah. Like how you come up with that, the concept behind it, that's super interesting. And like leverage your work <laughs> immediately. Uh, uh, repeat, repeat what I asking so, uh, exactly. Uh, in this part, you just show like the, the final results. Yeah, yeah. Like, here ah, you're like ah, sharing the whole story. And, uh, it's like super interesting. It yeah, helps yeah. for the. Uh, how the how is working? I mean, uh, the first uh, idea was that uh, the person who wants to fly, mm -hmm. and he has like uh, some cosmos in his uh, mind. It was like a case, and uh, but uh, in some troubles of life, because poets mm -hmm. are not so you know um, very popular. It's hard mm -hmm. to be a poet in modern world and live mm -hmm. for it. But uh, he made it. But it also has. A, a, I mean, uh, a big responsibility and a, a lot of problems. I mean, that is going mm -hmm. down. I mean, they mm -hmm. will catch you. And mm -hmm. uh, so it was like completely, completely some uh, um, things in this work mm -hmm. was completely, um, how to say it, improvised. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I draw the first the man with uh, this uh, flying, you know, uh, mm -hmm. man, uh, hands. Uh, but then I was like, oh, okay, what could uh, tone him down or like to mm -hmm. catch this, you know, the, how to show this problem, for mm -hmm. example, in the real world. And I like was. This, I don't know the word in English, yeah. but you know you understand this. And behind, that uh, trying to catch him, and uh, he, you know in his uh, mind a lot of you know some cosmic things, some cosmic stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, it's like sad planet, like Saturn, a lot of mind. Mm -hmm. So it, it was a lot of elements that I'm adding during the work is like uh, in spontaneous, uh, yep. in very improvising way. I mean, and I'm trying. I mean, like if it's not it's okay, okay, I mean, I just remove it and try this and doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, and uh, sometimes you are spending on working on the work like one week or sometimes you can in 15 minutes create the exact idea and just, you know, you should do, just yeah. draw it. So, uh, yeah, and it depends. So it depends. What, yeah. what Bram is suggesting is that, uh, like, this story is amazing, so maybe you should write, like, start with yeah. the, the paragraph, you know? Maybe show like a sketch explain. or whatever. Yeah. Like ah, yeah, bring uh, the story alive. Yeah, and, and then... Um, how it was like it ah, yeah. value, the, the process, yeah. yeah talk about the poets, you know, and what you felt, so and uh, 
because that's like because for someone watching it, it uh, like uh, discovering this it will add yeah. a lot of value yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe my, 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 my because i mean just I, I like visual communication and i'm like just wanted to always it's like my maybe problem to leave only like the minimal like you know minimal yeah. like if that's your goal then you can also bring that to the screen and like if you want to know more about this you can scroll down and you find the story there ah, but yeah. i would like to give you yeah. can ah. introduce them and yeah yeah <laughs> that's why that's here right. you can <laughs> you suggest <laughs> something because you're a professional for me so uh, yeah because right. yeah i think it will help uh definitely with those like with like the story ones. with the stairs we negotiate and that uh, mm -hmm. yeah this is something you can yeah, also explain right. your vision yeah. you know and then uh like yeah, I think yeah. try to find engagement with the the visitor, like the the persons yeah. who are watching, and, like, and ask them and challenge them. What do you think about this, or what yeah, do you yeah. see? And what I do you think also means? like, for example, when someone wants to write me, I mean, I'm just not giving my contact. I will, I want to uh, that person to tell me his story because yeah. I love stories. I mean, I love mm. when people <laughs> telling me some mm. stories. I mean, it's amazing mm. when you can share your story and some people can share. It's mm. amazing. I mean. Uh, if some pe uh, some person want to work with me, I want to hear his story. This is for sure. I mean, of course. Awesome. Okay, I think we have time for one more. If you want to, do something. Yeah, yeah, you want yeah, to show? yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, I will show maybe um, this one. I don't know. Yeah. It's like uh, different opinions. It's like a movie. Uh, yeah, pianist. The pianist. Yeah, mm -hmm. the pianist because I'm from Poland. And it's like quite yeah. popular the pianist in the town mm -hmm. and um, it's like I love because the typography is playing like a piano, this Jewish style, and this is uh, oh, you bombs. know parts like like a bombs, yeah, and it's simple. And it's like uh, because Poly Poland is uh, famous because of uh, poster art uh, school. I mean, uh, yeah. all over the world, yeah, they are really. And this is actually in a style of this uh, old and yeah. uh, posters Polish style. Yeah, I mean, I really, the, the yeah, yeah, it inspires me, and uh, I I created it because I wanted to feel it, and uh, yeah, I don't know how you like it, but uh, I love the concept. I mean, it depends yeah. on people. It's very efficient. Yeah. Again, like the concepts are super strong. <laughs> <laughs> I can learn a thing or two from you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, it's awesome. And so, Vadim, so you enjoy your second half? You were you were at off last year, also? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah? I did it. It's like uh, it was also spontaneous because uh, I never heard about it. Uh, as I okay. told, I was like engineering <laughs> stuff, you know, making blah blah. But it was interesting, you know, more, more, more people and more festivals and so on. And like, oh, okay. And I had no money for it, but I spent my last money. I was like eating a little bit less, less but you know, I spent my money and I get here. And uh, yeah, it was super amazing. I mean, uh, I remember the creator of this Atlanta series, you know, he was like last year, the guy who was creating, I have bad memory for names, but uh, the guy who was creating uh, um, uh, decorations for, you know, the uh, films of Woody yeah. Allen and so on. So it, it was completely amazing from different fields, for creative fields. And I, I had a lot of ideas. I was like with this book and I was like <laughs> writing, writing, writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, it was uh, full of inspiration. So I decided. You definitely have to go to Annie. Atkins, I think she made the uh, what is it the the Budapest Hotel thing. She oh, made yeah. all the the things the from in the movie, art. the posters, yeah. all those things. So you're gonna uh, love yeah, that one. Be a great talk. She's here today, I think. Yeah, or tomorrow. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> all right. Okay, Arsam, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. And also, I have a program. I ah. knew that I will come and I have oh. a can show postcard for you. Of yeah. course, beautiful. Yeah, I signed it like you know for you, and uh, it's, it's a little cool. bit dirty, yeah, but you know, matter. Show it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It's beautiful. Great Thank job. You, yeah. Thank, Thank you very you. much for the Great for you. Yeah. Thank right. you. And, uh, Thank you very much. See you around at off. Thank you. Thank you, Vadim. Awesome. Bye. Oh, that was nice uh, to see uh, also yeah. all these people from different uh, exactly. countries and different culture. It's awesome. So we have uh, one more portfolio to review, and maybe if we have time, we will. Uh, review a portfolio like randomly, like yeah, someone in the chat. Okay, let's try. But we promised. To, oh, it's a myportfolio.com, so it's a website generated from the Behance portfolio. Mm -hmm. You know, with a, mm -hmm. if you're a member of the Creative Cloud, you can take your Behance page and it becomes a website. I use it. And the name is Ladislas. Ladislas, let us know if you are in the chat with us. That would be interesting to know. Oh, okay. Look at that style. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, Doctor Strange. Did you watch the movie? No, I haven't seen it yet. It's a, wow. Yeah. A lot of visual effects, I would say. Is he here? Uh, we'll see. We'll see if he reacts. 
Yeah, a lot of colors. Wow. A lot of texture also, like brushes. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. feel a lot of work in Photoshop. I wonder, is this photo manipulation or is it like completely brushed? Yeah, it's a brushed. good question. Uh, so tribute, I wanted to create something that would represent... Uh, uh, I'm not sure about the technique used, but maybe we can... Uh, we can watch. Oh, that, hey, here you go. Yes. That is like, is let us know no. how you created this illustration of uh, Doctor Strange. Just the process. That would be interesting. Oh, it looks great. Uh, Stranger Things. Actually, at off. Uh, yeah, the title. There is the yeah, title director of uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Karen Funk. She's a, mm -hmm. She will be on stage uh, tonight. Alternative movie poster by Lady Stash. Ah. Have you tried to do alternative uh, movies, uh, like poster movies, you know, or, no, or redesign your products? No, I haven't done that yet. I should do. Yeah, very colorful. Look at this oh, style. he's drawing from scratch. Wow. Oh, and drawing. Then and then pens. OK, that's so that's uh, traditional this. art. It's beautiful. And the mood board? He shows the process. Yeah. Initial sketch as well. There you go. Oh, here we go. Oh, drawing directly in, uh, in Photoshop on a Cintiq. So that's a pure digital painting. It's awesome. Wow. The colors are on point, by the way. <laughs> yeah, colors are very good. All right, and it's a great uh, storytelling. Let us that, sir. See? I love this one. Yeah, me too. I was oh. Her. Wow. Holy nice. shit. Nice. Oh. With close-up details, uh, like, so we can appreciate mm -hmm. the texture. This is all digital? Uh, black and white version. I've painted the color following the previous base. It's hard to tell. Uh, Ladislas. Yeah, thank you, Ladislas. Uh, I forgot to scroll down, so maybe I could go back to Doctor Strange. Oh, and uh, he's influenced by your work mm -hmm. for a while. Well, you don't need advice on the color, so I mean, uh, I can sketch, learn a thing or two. See, yeah, like, so this one is purely digital, yeah. Mm -hmm. Doctor mm -hmm. Strange. Awesome. Look at that. You can see, like, with, with my work as well, how important the eyes are. And yeah. with his, his portraits as well, his eyes are on point. And look at this, it's yeah. like, it, he nails it. Awesome. Very nice work. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you have anything to say? I mean, it's yeah, great work. Yeah. Ladislas, uh, where is Ladislas? Oh, he's on Instagram too. It's all digital. Cool. Maybe we get more information. From FR, from France? <laughs> yep. No. Bonjour. Bonjour, monsieur. Only as a reference as well. Yeah. Oh, we were talking about the movie. Gwen yeah, Hattel. this one. <laughs> Lobby boy. That's good. I right, took the time to reproduce the, the hotel. <laughs> and Ladislas, he, he loves yeah. the way you play with the gradients. Probably. True. So I would love to see, like, he still, he still stays very close to the actual colors yeah. from all the prints and from all the projects. I would love to see, like, with his talent, you know, his... His, um, his skills, what he would do with, with crazy colors, like like the safe, you can do the safe work, it's there, you know, you've mm -hmm. already shown everyone like yeah. you can do it. Like with her, you can already feel that he went like experimental with the cyan yeah. and the green tints. I would love to see like, this is this is more creative, crazier, but okay. you can step, step it, you know, take it, uh, take it up another notch and then, you know, during that process, like pushing, 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 you come to a point where you're like super uni unique and it's like, this is Ladislas, like bam. Crazy course and awesome. keep yeah. on working. He, he will get there, absolutely. Ladislas, yeah. This is really great work. Uh, and yeah, thanks for the advice. Well, so he's working for the wire too. Let's <laughs> see if you have time to pick uh, someone one? in the chat who wants the portfolio to be reviewed. If it's the case, you cannot post links in the chat, but you can uh, just post your name or, and say, check my Behance uh, portfolio. And I will, uh, I will uh, find it on Behance, OK? Let's try this. I'll give you 20 seconds. Maybe you can watch one more. Kong. 
Mm. <laughs> texture here. Wow. He can draw. He got the skills. Yeah. Absolutely. Vibrant colors. Maybe if he's if he's looking for work, like you should, you know, you you got the skills. Like make time to promote yourself and get yourself out there, and your career will be phew, <laughs> it's ready to go. Okay, and try Cal Cabezon and cats on the in Spanish. Okay, I hope it's you. Wow, look at that. He's from Very good Spain. graphic design. Oh, from Barcelona. Yeah. You should pass by. You don't have to watch on. on Why you're not here? Yeah. <laughs> Come over. <laughs> you can watch through the window. There is a window here. It's true. Oh, uh, it's great what colors. Mm -hmm. Another use of uh, gradients. It's true painting, yeah. But no information or yeah. anything, just uh, the outcome. You should tell more about the story. Yeah. Start or start Carlos. storytelling, please. Yeah. <laughs> The previous one was very good with storytelling, like sharing yeah. the mood board, the sketches. True. Vadim also made, uh, could improve the storytelling. On a, mm. And uh, Carlos, you have great material. Ah, oh, you do UX or so? Okay. UX design. Uh, branding. It's so Spanish, I love it. Super bright yeah. colors. In very the joyful. Right, so. I like this also. Yeah, very bold. Yeah, very good branding. Mm. Exactly. Another dope portfolio. Yes, it is. So yeah, maybe a little bit more of storytelling and uh, we should be good. Yeah. Like, how do you come up with this yeah. end result? Because that's going to be Because I'm sure that you made a, a lot of uh, experiments, especially because with branding. Yeah, you right now, it looks so easy. Right. Oh, it took like a square, yeah. no, drop down. Uh, an S and that's it. But then when you actually know <laughs> how much time put in to this thing, it's okay. Well, Bram, uh, thanks for sharing, guys. We, we, we will yeah. take more uh, portfolios during the day, okay? Uh, like uh, impromptu, improvised uh, portfolio reviews. I like it, actually. Um, so, Dorina, stay with us because we will have more guests uh, coming. Uh, Bram, uh, good luck with uh, your talk on yeah, Saturday. Thank you. It's exciting. Abs yeah, it's very exciting. Still changing some things in my... The layout is completely changing. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I was on the plane, like, oh, I'm going to change uh, stuff. And uh, then, poof, there was a new layout, so I'm changing everything. Uh, but it's going to be exciting. Mm. And thanks for sharing uh, your story and uh, your process. And uh, wish you good luck with this exciting new project, combining painting. Yeah. It's, uh, it's great. Thanks for having me, absolutely. And uh, we will be um, back in five minutes, actually, at the top of, of the hour with uh, an artist from um, uh, the US, Gary Besman. Besman, yeah. Uh, yeah. I big, thought he was big in painter. Front of me. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's just after guy. you. And uh, he up. has a. Crazy universe, he's super nice. Mm. I had a chance to talk with him, he's uh, really uh, very sweet. So stay with us on adobelive.com. Make sure to subscribe to the Creative Code YouTube channel. And uh, we will be live in five minutes with Gary Baseman and Rufus. Bye. Bye.